Hey, what's up Panthers fans? Today we're back with kind of a different video. We usually do NFL record predictions, um, mock drafts, fantasy football type of videos. We're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers. Um, but before I jump into that, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button and, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, only 12% of the people that watch my videos are currently subscribed, so please help me out and smash that like button and subscribe, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So, Sam Darnold, over his career, hasn't really had much talent around him in New York. Um, he has been surrounded by, in my opinion, the worst head coach in recent memory in the NFL, um, Adam Gase. I think Adam Gase has quite easily been the worst head coach in the NFL since being in the NFL, if I'm being honest. He, I really look at this as a good chance for Sam Darnold to really revive his career. Um, being with Adam Gase has really affected his his players. For instance, Ryan Tannehill, when he was with the Dolphins under Adam Gase. Yeah, you could still see a good amount of potential in Ryan Tannehill. He still put up fair numbers, but was never that, like, you know, top 10, top 15 quarterback. He was still you know, a bottom-of-the-league quarterback. Adam Gase isn't a good play caller. He just isn't good at getting talent to surround his players. I mean, in Sam Darnold's time in New York, he had to basically do everything with a Frank Gore a bottom-of-the-league offensive line. Like, like, like I've already mentioned, Adam Gase, who is just a terrible coach. Um, Le'Veon Bell, who really just hasn't done a lot since he was with the Steelers. And, I mean, all of his weapons have just been terrible. I mean... <clears throat> his best weapon since since being in the league has been Robbie Anderson, who is now the Panthers' number two wide receiver behind DJ Moore. He's never been given an honest chance in the NFL. So, I think in Carolina, where they've got DJ Moore, who in my mind is... A borderline top 10 wide receiver I think he's gonna really take a step forward this year um, Christian McCaffrey who is a top two running back in the league I I think he's a little bit better than Derrick Henry but they're both insanely good running backs um, an offensive line that while isn't necessarily good it's a lot better than what he was given in New York. But the biggest thing I want to point out here is Joe Brady Matt, and Matt Rule in Carolina. I think they are much better play callers. They've done a lot better job at getting weapons and an offensive line around him than New York was. And really, Robbie Anderson, in one of his recent interviews with the Carolina Panthers, has said that Sam Darnold has a new aura surrounding him. Meaning, he has that confidence now. He seems like he's in a situation that he's happy. And... For a quarterback, especially a starting quarterback in the National Football League, confidence is a huge, huge role. 
like re- really really important to have in the NFL. So I feel like really Sam Darnold is in a good situation now where he can really strive. I mean Carolina in 2020 had two 11 1100 yard receivers and DJ Moore was almost at 1200 receiving yards and basically missed a full game and a half. I mean, you give him a full season, I think it's really really going to help Sam Darnold. Um I'm going to go ahead and show a Sam Darnold's stats when he was with New York. Guys, these are not good numbers. Um, his rookie year, he put up 17 touchdowns and 15 interceptions, uh, a little over 2,800 yards with a 57% completion. Per- completion. I think, and okay, okay, this is also when he didn't even have Le'Veon Bell. So we didn't even have even a serviceable running back to, you know, check the ball down to and he just he literally had nothing in New York in 2019 he did take you know pretty noticeable leap forward he boosted his completion percentage up to 62 percent with over 3,000 passing yards 19 touchdowns and 13 interceptions Um, This was also while only playing in 12 games. If you recall, he actually had mono in 2019. If you really look at these numbers, if he would have played all 16 games, he probably would have put up around 3,700 or so yards. um, Probably about 24 to 25 touchdowns and... About 16 or 17 interceptions. I think I think Sam Darnold with a lot better talent in Carolina can put up a lot better numbers. I think he... My, my stat projection for him in Carolina is... Since there's 17 games, I'm going to project about 3,900 to 4,000 passing yards... I think he'll have between 28 and 31 touchdowns passing with, I'd say, 13 interceptions. I also think he'll be able to put up three or four rushing touchdowns. And I think this is going to be enough to help the Panthers get into the playoffs in 2021. I I really like... The direction this team is going I think Matt Rule is really good at getting the most out of his players I mean Sam Darnold over his career in New York yeah he's lacked some co- consistency even with what he was given but there's been some of those plays that were you to bl- blur out the quarterback you'd think it was Patrick Mahomes making the play I mean, he's had some absolutely wow throws. I mean, I think he can definitely do that in Carolina. Not to mention, Carolina hasn't really had a good deep ball thrower really since Cam Newton. And Sam Darnold's arm strength is honestly his best his best trait as a quarterback. So... You know, work on his accuracy with Joe Brady and, um, you know, really have him stay, like, if he can stay more calm under pressure and be able to pull out clutch moments this year, I really think he can lead the Panthers to 10 or 11 wins. So, but guys, let me know your projections for Sam Darnold in 2021 I think he's going to take a big jump forward I'm not saying he's going to be a top 10 or maybe even top 15 quarterback for that matter but he is going to have much better stats and will at least be a serviceable quarterback so let me know what you think he'll do in 2021 and I will see you later